To another video and in today's video unfortunately is my last day with the i8 and i don't know i mean if it doesn't sell we're gonna end up keeping it but if it does sell you know that'd be pretty awesome because we can bring some better content to the channel um this car honestly i absolutely love it it's my, my biggest purchase of my life and uh you know this is gonna be kind of sad we're gonna be thankfully taken to the right place showman motors is gonna be helping us sell this car which is kind of a big deal because selling a car at this kind of caliber is super hard to get you know somebody to come with the cash for it so i'll be able to at least get it to his dealership have somebody you know come pick it up through there it's gonna be a lot easier but shout out to Shuma motors for making this happen and uh, at this point let's just get the car down to the car wash wash it get it cleaned up take it out show motors get some pictures and final drive with the car guys so this is gonna be emotional and it's de definitely gonna be fun gonna be hard but at this point guys we need to take the pictures we got we got literally showman's new lambo over there which is pretty awesome but yeah we're gonna take pictures of it hopefully get some good ones shout out to john for being here that's the main reason honestly i came here with john because i needed his help otherwise i was gonna take some really bad photos of a nice car so hopefully we get some photos of this bad boy and then uh, we should be heading back Alright guys, so we just got out of show with motors. We're actually gonna try to find a nice golf place because the car is super clean. We wanna have it kind of, uh, according to them, when you have a lot of cars in the background, it's considered distraction. So when you want people to focus their attentions on the details that you're showing with the car, so a little photography tip, uh, try to get it alone. So we're gonna try to go to a golf course. We also need some shade. It is in the middle of the day. It is super hot. It's too much sun, too much glare. So yeah, we're heading out to a golf course. Hopefully Jonathan can do his magic over there. So uh, we need to give him his natural habitat, if you guys know what I mean. So yeah, yeah let's go ahead and get over there. Shout out to my man. We are finally dropping off the i8. It's, it's in good hands, right, my man? Yes, sir. It's in definitely good hands. So, I mean, we've been trying to go over the pictures and everything, and uh, honestly, they made it very easy. Again, I've bought cars from Showman Motors. I've been working with Showman Motors. Amazing guys, and uh, yeah. Up these plates. Yes, sir. <laughs> gotta put these on the F80. You guys know how it is. Oh, bro, this hurts. It literally hurts. Like, my fingers are hurt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so yeah, this is Showman's new location, actually located in Napa. They got the beautiful cars here. They have a Lamborghini Gallardo, a Corvette, what is it, like C7, I think? C7. C7, and now we have the i8 pulling up to the crew. They have a bunch of German cars, a bunch of nice cars. This is their new location. It's actually, actually in a very, very, very like bougie area. It looks really awesome. Shout out to Sharif's father. He's honestly very, very, very happy. Sharif isn't here to help me, but Sharif's father is, and uh, even Muhammad as well. They're really nice guys. Special shout out to them for making this super easy. Without further ado, I'm saying goodbye to my baby. We're also starving. So I you know, we're thinking about my baby. We're also thinking about some, uh, you know, some chipotle in and out. You know, you know how it is. So uh, let's go get some food. 
This girl almost killed us and almost killed herself right next to a truck. This look the, bro, the, the Honda Fit bro, over there is like What is bro, she's just even this guy is like, I wanna get some of this. Honestly. <laughs> this lady literally like almost ran into us and like was I don't even know, dude. Doesn't she, even look like she, she didn't even girl. care, bro. Bro, she's pushing the car off the road. Oh, she literally. Oh, shit. No, she, oh bro, she's, she's coming. coming for you. She's coming, bro. bro <laughs> get out of the way. Bro. No, bro. Get away. Get away. What is oh this? Oh my god, dude. Somebody's gotta call the cops, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. Bro, <laughs> what the? Bro. I'm going at her. No, she's gonna. She's gonna try to. Bro, somebody should also call the cops. Honestly. Yeah, you look it up. Look at look at look, look at her. Bro. Look at her. Bro, where's she going? Where is she going, dude? <laughs> what? Yeah, All right, guys. So honestly, we honestly called. Bro, she's off the. Bro, she's, she's what is going on? Like, we we bro. honestly called nine one one just because. I mean, this is kind of entertaining, but it's stupid. It's, it's literally so dangerous. She, somebody can have a kid in the car, and they honestly can hit them. I don't. I, this is the first time I've ever called nine one one. We called nine one one, and we reported the vehicle. We're telling them exactly where we're going. We're right next to them. So honestly, I'm really hoping a cop actually comes through and pulls her over because. I don't know what she's doing. It's, That's just crazy, so bro. <laughs> yeah, like I just want to see like what this is it. A, it's not okay to drive like this, okay. you know. I want to see justice, <laughs> you know. Justice be and safe. I hopefully no one gets hit because honestly, I don't know if they actually hit that white focus or whatever behind us, but it looked like it. Yes. Oh, she passed out, dude. Bro, she's out. Oh. oh. Oh my god. She woke, she woke she, up. Oh my god. <laughs> I literally saw her. Bro, she just woke up and oh was like, oh, god. time to go. <laughs> <laughs> bro, oh my lord, bro. She's literally asleep. <laughs> she's literally asleep. <laughs> bro, she's just. I take a nap right here. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. Don't bro, I want her to go in front of me, bro. I'm actually worried. I don't want to get hit. Not in this car out of all cars, you know? Oh my gosh. She thinks that's a lane. Oh, please let there be a cop. Please. I need a I cop swear. ASAP, bro. Please, if we see a cop, my day will, my week, <laughs> my month will be made. Bro, they missed her, dude. The cops missed her. She took off like an exit or something. There was a cop. Sure. Bro, that cop was just chilling. Why is there a cop? Like, bro, like, yeah, that was. Cops pull over people with tents, but I'm not there to see someone recklessly drive. I just, I'm not doing it. I said I'll never lose you. I can't forget it. Hey guys, we are at the end of the video. I know it's a pretty short video, but I mean, it pretty much just, you know, I had a, I had a dedicated video for the i8. This is pretty much the last day that I'm gonna be with it. Now, obviously, if it doesn't sell, it'll come back to the channel, but I'm pretty sure it's obviously gonna sell. I'm gonna leave it with the good hands of Showman Motors. Again, a huge special shout out to them for making this happen because otherwise, I don't think I can find a buyer that has the cash for this thing, uh, at least anytime soon. So that's pretty ideal. It is time for a new chapter. You guys saw that we sold the truck. Something you guys also don't know is we actually sold my wife's 135. So yeah, long story short, she prefers an automatic. So we actually sold the 135. Uh, we actually sold our truck. Uh, we're selling the, the i8. So pretty much the only thing we're gonna have is the F80 M3. And then we also picked up the Nissan Titan, of course. So uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be looking for a new build for her as well. Probably something in the newer, you know, newer cars and automatic, maybe a DCT. We'll have to see. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.